first just want to mention some recruiting tidbits. Uh, one piece of good news, Khalifa Keith, the D commit from Kentucky is now committed to Tennessee. Did that yesterday. And, uh, that's all. I mean, it's just nice. Just stealing from Kentucky like that. Uh, can't help but enjoy it. Um, he's not a, a super highly rated prospect, but um, I, I think he, he is a nice addition to that running back room, and that's fun. Uh, beyond that, David Hobbs got another, the five-star defensive lineman got another crystal ball for Tennessee after the game even. Um, his announcement is coming up on Friday. And this is what I wanted to talk about uh, for for recruiting here. A lot of people after that, I, I had folks in my mentions that were like, oh, this is so bad for recruiting. I can't believe they would do this. We're going to, everything's going to fall apart. I, don't put too much weight on one game, I, I think. And, and it goes both ways. I mean, uh, you know, we talked about after the Florida game and the Alabama game and um, uh, those those environments, like those are incredible for recruiting, but one game singularly can impress a recruit, but it's a body of work that gets them here. And honestly, I almost think there's really nothing that can happen for the rest of this season that is going to throw away the class that Tennessee already has for 2023. It may make things maybe slightly rockier for 2024, but even still, nine wins already. And nine wins for a program that's coming off the, you know, just being a complete dumpster fire. And I think you still go. It kind of gives you this talking point almost. Not that in any way this loss to South Carolina was a good thing, (laughs) but especially to defensive players, you can almost go, hey, look, we won nine games this year or 10 games if they could be Vandy. Look at that. Now, come with me and watch the South Carolina game. Now, you see that cornerback right there? He's terrible. You're not terrible. So how about you come to Tennessee and I'm going to give you that guy's job and you can take over, you know, you got to have that selling point. I think it also gives you a big selling point with and Mr. Jones says it here in the, in the comments, he says transfer portal will be huge. Also, it gives mm-hmm. you a real talking point for the transfer portal to go like, please, dear God, we need you. And come I think that's, I think based on, you know, what people have said and what's out there, it sounds like Tennessee's going to go pretty heavy in the portal. And I think that's probably, because of the secondary and the defensive side of the ball. They got the dudes on offense. They got the dudes on offense. I mean, you got guys that have stepped up when other guys have went down. I mean, Ramil Keaton played extremely well, and Tillman's absence had to come in the second half when Brew McCoy went down, played pretty well, made a couple of catches. You got those dudes, but you need guys on the defensive side. You need more pass rushers. You need more – I mean, you need everything, really. The secondary is the weakest point, but you need upgrades all across that unit. So I think they'll be very heavy – in the portal, and obviously NIL is going to be a big part of that. Uh, it has to be a big part of that at this point. That's just the way the game is played. And, you know, now that Josh Heupel's officially endorsed uh, Spire as the collective for Tennessee, they can kind of u- utilize that a little better, a little a little better partnership there between the collective and the school. So hopefully they, they are able to find some guys in the portal that can help this defense because otherwise uh, I'm not sure it's going to be just as bad. Fall is in the air, and that means fall grilling with cookouts, tailgate parties, and so much more. Luckily, the flavor experts at Omaha Steaks have made it easy to savor all the flavors of fall with their mouthwatering assortments of perfectly aged steaks, ultra juicy burgers, and easy to prepare comfort meals that are ready in a flash. And now is the perfect time to load up on all this incredible flavor and take advantage of 50% off site-wide by shopping their friends and family sale. Go to omahasteaks.com and use my promo code, Vols, that is V-O-L-S, at checkout and get $30 off your order. Don't wait. Go to omahasteaks.com and stock up today. Omaha Steaks isn't just steak. It's the best steak of your life, guaranteed. And don't forget to score that extra $30 off your order when you use Vols at checkout, V-O-L-S. Omaha Steaks is perfect for those chilly and busy fall nights. You won't come close to getting this kind of quality at the grocery store. Visit omahasteaks.com, promo code Vols at checkout. Minimum order may be required. Omaha Steaks. Uh, Come on down. Anybody and everybody. We need you. I mean, good Lord. Uh, yeah, so hopefully they do both of those things. But I, I would say if you're if you're freaking out over that game recruiting-wise, eh, 
Like don't don't put too much stock in it. It's one one game, and it also is a game that, that now kind of gives you a selling point to go like, look how bad this defense is. Why don't you come play defense for us? And um, and you still have nine wins to show them a win over Alabama, a win over Florida, a win over LSU. You have all of that still stacked up, tons of goodwill. And and I don't think that that one uh, freak game is is going to scare anybody off. Um, so that oh, yeah. real quick, talking about the portal, this is an interesting point. Ben Hall says, and I hope Kirby Smart hates that we're looking to the portal since every five star on the planet is currently on his roster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, teams can't really hoard talent the way they used to anymore. No. Don't play those guys. If you're a junior and it doesn't matter if you're a four star, five star, it, you know, whatever it is, you're a talented player. You're going to look for a place you can get on the field. Yeah. And if you're there and you see the path is kind of muddied and it's running out of time and you think you have NFL potential, you're going to go somewhere where you can play. So in general, the, the portal levels the playing field for so many different reasons. One, because you're able to rebuild a roster so much faster. And that's helped Josh Heupel and a lot of other programs. But you, you get some of that talent away from Georgia, too. You get a guy from Georgia, you're hurting them and helping yourself. I mean, it, it, that I, I, I do think that's part of why we're starting to see more parity in college football. Outside of Georgia, I feel like there's been a lot of parity in college football this season, and I think it's going to continue to see that more and more. Absolutely. Hopefully. Um, we just need the guys. <laughs> Come on down and play for Tennessee, please. Please. Um, now we can get to this Fandy game. 